The major goal of the Genesee County Land Bank is to clean up neighborhoods in Flint. Well, right now, this government agency is working on cleaning up its own reputation. Well, Flint has the same problems as Detroit. Monday morning, Stair sent in his letter of resignation. But for the leaders of the Genesee County Land Bank, the damage is done. Deeply troubled and frankly hurt that this may have further degraded the already disrupted public trust in governmental agencies. In the letter, Stair says he's deeply sorry for what he said and goes on to say that he doesn't know how to face his co-workers and his friends. And I was at Standing Rock for about five months. Chelsea Lyons is the water rights activist who says she recorded the audio of Stair. He knows me from no one and within an hour he was just talking and saying the most horrendous things, you know. I never at any point expected to hear the things that I heard. Lyons has set up camp in Flint with other activists. She also works with a group called Truth Against the Machine. Her recordings were posted online and within hours went viral. He called them derelicts among several other names. So to me, it seems like he cares nothing for the people who actually live here. Lyons says she met up with Stare at a restaurant in Flint, chatted with him, but never told him much about who she was. He didn't really ask who I I was. He didn't seem very interested. And he was very open about the fact that they were trying to push uh, minority groups, people of color, poor people out of particular neighborhoods. I don't think that that's the case, but we're going to have conversations about it. Wildman says that she is going to continue to look into things that are happening at the land bank to make sure everyone is being treated fairly. And she says that may include some training sessions on customer service. Live in downtown Flint, Stephanie Parkinson, NBC 25.